The Miami Dolphins running back core has lacked star power for the past couple of years, but the team added a big name Wednesday when they claimed Philip Lindsay off waivers from the Houston Texans. Lindsay didn't have much success in his first season with Houston in 2021, but he began his NFL career by rushing for more than 1,000 yards for the Denver Broncos in 2018 and 2019 after arriving as a rookie free agent. He even made the Pro Bowl as a rookie when he averaged 5.4 yards per carry and scored 10 touchdowns, 9 rushing, 1 receiving. In three seasons with Denver, Lindsay averaged an impressive 4.8 yards per carry and it came as a surprise to many when the Broncos rescinded their qualifying offer to Lindsay as a restricted free agent this offseason, essentially cutting him loose. On a bad Houston team, Lindsay averaged only 2.6 yards per carry as a backup to Mark Ingram until Ingram was traded to New Orleans Saints. Lindsay made only one start for the Texans, and that came ironically against the Dolphins on November 7 when he gained 28 yards on eight rushing attempts. Lindsay was released by Houston for a combination of factors, including his poor production, giving him the chance to land another opportunity and some depth at the position. How Lindsay fits with the Dolphins. At 5 to 8, 190, Lindsay is yet another smallish running back in a Dolphins group already heavy with those. He becomes the fourth running back on the active roster along with Miles Gaskin, Salvan Ahmed and Patrick Laird, to go along with practice squad players Duke Johnson and rookie seventh round pick Garrett Dokes. Lindsay's arrival, along with linebacker Vince Beagle signing from the practice squad, filled out the Dolphins' active roster. But when openings need to be created once players come off injured reserve, center Michael Deiter was designated to return Wednesday, there's a strong possibility it will be a running back who gets removed to make space. And considering he was made inactive against the Jets when the Dolphins elevated Johnson from the practice squad, it's fair to suggest that Ahmed's roster spot definitely is in jeopardy. As for what kind of role Lindsay could play on offense, it's too early to determine that. Given that he'll have only two practices with the Dolphins before the game against Carolina on Sunday, it's not likely he'll even be active for that one, but he figures to be worked into some kind of rotation starting with the December 5th game against the New York Giants. Linebacker Vince Beagle was signed off the Miami Dolphins practice squad. Vince Beagle has completed his long journey back to the Miami Dolphins active roster. Head coach Brian Flores revealed Wednesday morning that Beigel would be signed to the 53-man roster off the team's practice squad. The move comes one day after the Dolphins placed linebacker Brennan Scarlett on injured reserve with a knee injury he sustained in the 24-17 victory against the New York Jets at MetLife Stadium on Sunday. Scarlett has a chance to come back at some point this season, Flores indicated Wednesday, unlike cornerback Jamal Perry, who is done for 2021 after also sustaining a knee injury Sunday. Beagle has a lot of same qualities as Scarlett possesses, namely some pass rushing ability and special teams acumen. It's been a tough road for Beagle since the summer of 2020 when he was looking to build on a promising first season in Miami following his acquisition in a trade with the New Orleans Saints. Beagle sustained a torn Achilles tendon in training camp and landed on injured reserve, which ended his 2020 season. He was put on injured reserve again in training camp this year but the Dolphins paved a way for a possible return when they waived him off injured reserve. Beagle was signed to the Dolphins practice squad October 19 and was elevated for the games against the Buffalo Bills on October 31 and the Houston Texans on November 7, though he played only three special teams against Houston after being active but not playing against Buffalo. After joining the Dolphins in 2019, Beagle started 10 games at linebacker and had 2.5 sacks, including one against Tom Brady, to go along with an interception. The move with Beagle will put the Dolphins back at the maximum 53 players on the active roster. Miami Dolphins players not getting respect in Pro Bowl voting. The NFL has released a list of the top vote-getters for the Pro Bowl after just one week of ballots being open and the Miami Dolphins have no one listed. There is still a lot of time before the Pro Bowl is announced and the fan voting will count one-third of the total votes that will lead to players being elected to this year's meaningless postseason game but the game checks are still nice. The top five teams include the Cowboys number one and the Patriots number two. I suppose they don't have much to do in the upper northeast this time of year. New England has three players leading their respective positions in votes, including long snapper. The Dolphins don't have anyone. The top votes so far have gone to others around the league. No Mike Jasicki at tight end because that is a lock for Travis Kelsey. No leading cornerback spot for Xavier Howard. At this point, it doesn't really matter. The voting is singular, 
meaning they are only showing the top leading vote getter for each position not at both cornerback spots or both wide receiver spots. It isn't surprising though considering the Dolphins had a seven-game losing streak after their week one win. Miami hasn't looked good and aside from Jalen Waddell and Mike Jasicki, no one else on the offense should be even sniffing a Pro Bowl vote. Defensively, Howard, Byron Jones, Christian Wilkins, and even Javon Holland should at least receive some non-Miami fan votes but the Dolphins' record is glaring and Howard is not having the same season he did last year.